Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see, we have a little bit of a different setup. I am showing you guys the top of my vanity, my Alex drawer, and everything like that because today we are going to be doing a vanity tour. I'm gonna be walking you guys through what's on top of my vanity, in my vanity drawer, as well as what is in my everyday makeup organizer that is on the top of my desk. So just to do a quick overview before we get started, this half of my vanity right here, that is actually the top of an Ikea Alex drawer and I just figured I would use it to kind of extend the space of my actual vanity to store stuff on top of. I find that it works really well. I definitely wish that it was a little bit taller so it was the same height as my drawer but like I said it still works really well and gives me a lot of nice extra storage space to store stuff on the top of my vanity and display my makeup and stuff like that. I'll try my best to go over where everything is from in this video but of course as always I will have all of the organizers and the desk and the Alex drawer linked down below for you guys. The actual vanity desk that I use is actually a computer desk. It is from Ikea as well and it is the Mickey one person computer desk. Like I said, I will have it linked down below. As far as my vanity stool goes, I'm not exactly sure where that is from. It was kind of repurposed from somewhere else in my house that my mom gave to me. So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this vanity tour. Also, make sure you guys subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm hoping to do a makeup collection maybe sometime later in the year. I just did the declutter and I'm also gonna do this so I feel like it kind of gives you guys a good idea of what is already in my makeup collection, but maybe I'll have more of an in-depth makeup collection for you by the end of this year sometimes. So like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoy and let's just get on into the vanity tour and what is in my everyday makeup organizer. So getting on into the drawer of the vanity first really quick to show you guys probably just because I feel like this might be the most boring part of the video. Definitely one thing I would say to you guys if you are looking in to get this desk as your vanity, it just this doesn't pull out all the way so you definitely lose a lot of storage back here. There's definitely a good amount of room to put more stuff that it's kind of hard to reach so I don't really keep much back there. So on this side of my vanity right here I just keep a repurposed ipsy bag I keep like my tweezers I have my electric facial trimmer in there just stuff that I use to kind of groom my face I have some crest white strips back here and then also here I just have some random stuff again I have a headband because I always need to put my hair back when I do my makeup my retainer cases some inhalers and then I have a top coat for my nails I do get my nails done um, acrylics with gel on top but just if they need like a little touch up with to make them look a little bit more shiny and stuff like that I always just like to keep a clear coat and this is the one that I've been using it's the Seche Vite what is this the dry fast top coat I know it's not the best for you but that is just the one that I was able to grab last minute when I needed one over here I do have more makeup related stuff more skincare stuff I always keep my witch hazel in here that is my favorite toner I feel like it really cleans my skin I do have a skincare routine up on my channel that I did over the summer if you guys want to go check that out I also have chapsticks these are my two favorites currently the CO Bigelow Rose Solve as well as the CO Bigelow Mentha Supreme Lip Shine those are really good and definitely save my lips during the winter q-tips cotton balls I keep my makeup sponges here I have the real technique sponge as well as the beauty blender and back here I always keep some rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle if I feel like I want to sanitize my makeup and then I also have this Japanese brush cleanser to quickly spot clean my brushes and over here in this little compartment I usually keep my glasses when I'm not wearing them I am wearing them right now I just keep a glasses cleaner as well as a cloth because if you wear glasses you just know that they get dirty real fast and I just like to have those easy like on hand so I could grab over here I just have some face masks some skincare and stuff like that I have these simple protecting light moisturizer with SPF 15 this is really good I like this in the summer for under makeup because it is very light it's not super greasy and if I am going to the beach or by the pool I prefer to put this on my face instead of straight up sunscreen you guys know my favorite face masks I have the Sephora mud mask the purifying and mattifying and then also the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask here. And then this is a little Sunrise Mountain Moisturizing Body Butter. I got this at like a little farmer's market, I think. And it's just one of those kind of like handmade organic body butters. And then also in here, I have this little Evo Lodgy, I think how you say it. I got this in an Ipsy bag. It is their Intense Blemish Serum. And I really liked it. It says you could use this all over your face if you have like really bad acne or spots on your face but I just like to use this when I have a blemish I feel like it gets rid of the blemish really quickly as well as fades the acne scars that are left behind also if you guys are wondering about the organizers that I use in this drawer this one right here with the three compartments this is the Whitmore three compartment drawer organizer I know I think I got this at Marshall's or TJ Maxx one of those stores but I do know that the they sell these on Amazon for a really reasonable price so I will definitely link those down below for you guys 
And this one right here, I know I got this from Home Goods a while ago. I'm not sure of the brand, but like I said, if I could find one similar, I will also link that down below for you guys as well. I think it came with, with like a little acrylic drawer that I got once from Home Goods that I used to store my makeup in, and this came with that. So like I said, if I could find anything similar to this, I will link that down below for you guys. On this section of my vanity right here, this is the top of the Alex drawer. I just keep a lot of my favorite palettes. This is from the brand by Allegory and it has a bunch of different spots to hold palettes. I believe that you could also do this like standing as well and you could slide the palettes into the little slots, but I just feel like I could fit a lot more palettes like this and it's just a little bit more practical when you do this flat and kind of put two palettes in one slot if that makes any sense to you guys. So I just keep most of my favorite, most used palettes, also some palettes that I haven't tried out yet that I just got for Christmas that I kind of want to test out more and make it a point to use. I find that when I put stuff in my Alex drawer, it's like very out of sight, out of mind for me. So I really like to have as much stuff as possible out on display so I know and remember to use it that way. I'm not going to go through all of these, but just to show you guys some of my recent favorite palettes, the Tartlet Toasted is one that I have in here because I've been using this a ton. I just did a comparison and review on this on my channel if you guys want to go check that out. I also just got this Urban Decay Heavy Metal palette that I showed in my What I Got for Christmas video. And then I also have some old favorites in here like the Modern Renaissance, the Anastasia Contour Kit, and the Kat Von D Contour Kit back here. Towards the back of my Alex drawer, I like to keep some skincare stuff that I use every single night when I get out of the shower, as well as some tissues. I use a ton of tissues when I do my makeup just to clean stuff up and to wipe my vanity down. And then I also have my vanity mirror, which I'm not exactly sure where it's from. Again, it was kind of passed down to me, and it's just a really great mirror that I like to use when I do my makeup. The Nivea lotion, as well as the CeraVe cream, I like to use on my face. So I just like to have them sitting out there because they are just stuff that I like to reach for on a nightly basis. So it's just kind of easy to pump them from there. So right here, moving on a little bit closer onto what is actually on top of my vanity. I showed you guys this a little bit before in overview, but I want to zoom on closer into each individual thing and tell you guys where everything is from and give you guys a little bit more detail. So first I'm going to be zooming on to the brushes. I love keeping my brushes on top of my vanity like most people do. So in the Hello Gorgeous mug, I have my face brushes, my bigger brushes, anything fluffy, basically anything that is for the face. And that mug, I believe, is from one of the stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. And right directly next to that, I have this mason jar. It's just a mini mason jar, and I have all my eye brushes in there, my brow brushes, any detail brushes, my concealer brush I have in that jar. I wanted to separate my brushes from small and large because I feel like when I have them all together, my smaller brushes really get lost in between my larger brushes so I think it's just easier to find what I need when they are nice and separated and I could see them all perfectly. On the end of my vanity I have a picture of me and Brandon. I'm not exactly sure where that frame is from but that is definitely an old picture. I think we took that picture like the summer after we first started dating so I think it's almost time to update that picture but it's just cute. I love the color of the frame and I just think it looks really cute on my vanity and it actually since this is a computer desk the vanity has a hole in it so I guess when you have the monitor on the screen you could run the wires down through the hole I'll show you guys so as you guys can see the desk has this hole in it right here so that is why I just like to put something on top of that so I just figured the frame is a nice way to cover it like I said this is a computer desk that I just thought the size was perfect and I just wanted to repurpose it as my vanity so I figured the hole wasn't really a problem for me as you guys can see it's easily able to be covered up by anything but I just chose the frame and lastly on my vanity I have this little everyday makeup organizer it's an acrylic organizer and I got it from home goods I actually have the little card of the brand right here if you guys are interested it's just a multi-use organizer it says you could use it in your bed bath kitchen office or just for storage but of course you guys know me I love anything acrylic to store my makeup in and it was just perfect I've been watching a lot of shop my stash videos and I've been really wanting a section to put products aside that I want to get more use out of so when I saw this I just thought it was perfect and I love all the different compartments to fit everything so I just thought it would be cool to walk you guys through this portion of the video what's in this organizer why it's in the organizer just describe the products a little bit to you guys so let's just get on into that part of the video so you guys can get a little bit of a closer look as to what is in my everyday organizer. All right, so this right here is my everyday makeup organizer. Like I said, this is from Home Goods, and I told you guys the brand. I will have this link down below. So in here, I don't necessarily keep 
everything that I use on a daily basis but this is more for just essentials if I'm in a rush or stuff that's like new products that I haven't tried out yet or stuff that are older products that I just want to make a point to use so if you guys saw my declutter video I pulled out these products like here this is the Maybelline master prime the blur and redness control just to make it a point to use this as my primer and I have been reaching for this more often because it is in here I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This is just another thing that I want to try to finish up. The Milani Lipstick in the shade Nude Cream. I'm still kind of testing out. And then also in here, I put this NYX Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I kind of told you guys how I felt about this in my declutter video, but I still need to test that out again. And also, I just like to keep this little Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover here, just because I feel like it's handy and easy to have makeup remover right on my vanity so I could reach for it if I need it really quickly. In the front right here, I have my eyelash curler and my mascara. I'm currently using the Essence Lash Princess and my eyelash curler is from Tweezer Man. I like to keep these here just because if I am in a rush, mascara is usually like my go-to item, just the thing that I kind of feel a little bit more put together if at least I have that on just because it, you know, makes your lashes look nice, just makes your eyes pop a little bit. So I always keep that in there. Also something that I always like to keep in here is my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus because I use this every single day pretty much before and after I do my makeup so it's just easy in here because I know that this is again one of those daily essentials that I use every day so I just like to have it out so I'm not digging in my drawer and also this is something that like if I come in my room and feel like I need a touch up it's really easy to just grab and use out of here and I also use this like for wetting my shadows wetting my highlight and stuff like that so it's just a very well loved and well used product for me right here I have the Fenty Beauty this is the gloss bomb and Fenty glow I actually just exchanged the liquid lipstick for this I wasn't totally blown away by the liquid lipstick I felt like it was a little messy just not my favorite so I figured I would exchange it for something that I would get a lot more use out of and I just purchased this so that is why that is in here like I said I put like newer stuff in here too so this is what the gloss looks like I am planning on doing like a little bit more of an in-depth video or like an in-depth review on this but it is so gorgeous I've been getting a lot of use out of it so I just like to leave new products in here until I can fully test them out I have this Anastasia lip gloss I actually just recently listed this on my Depop I have this because my mom ordered me the Nicole Guerrero glow kit when it came back on Cyber Monday for Christmas and they literally sent this in place of the glow kit I don't know how that happened but I'm so happy I ended up actually getting the glow kit but they sent this one in grape jelly instead and they just let me keep it so if you guys are interested in this I do have that listed on my Depop and I'll just keep that there until someone purchases it or I'll just pass it along to someone if it doesn't sell another new product that I got for Christmas that's in here is the touch and soul no problem primer I've been testing this out and I actually do really like this it is the smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup this is really good this is what the packaging looks like it's like a frosted matte really good I've been liking that in combination with the Fenty primer actually is my favorite way to use that so I'm still testing that out but I really am enjoying that so far these things right here you guys will know if you guys saw my declutter video these are the two Maybelline fit me powders that I said I was gonna take out to use up as you can see there is literally like just powder around Around the very very edges of these products so I haven't really touched these I think I need to move them elsewhere because they're kind of hidden back there but I really need to make it a point to use these up because these are my favorite favorite powders they are so good like even if I just use the powder to set my lids I know that I could finish these up quickly so I need to make it a point to get more use out of those this palette right here, my boyfriend's sister just gave to me. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. Again, just something that I want to keep in here so that I know to test it out. It's really gorgeous. It's filled with a bunch of neutrals. It has some gray, blue, brown, gold, and then some cream shades. I think that this is really pretty. Um, I think it'll make a really good daily palette. I just haven't gotten around to trying that out yet, but look at the packaging. How pretty is that? I can't wait to try this. And they sw I did swatch this though, and they do swatch really, really well. And lastly, in my everyday makeup organizer, I have the ColourPop Polite AF collection. Again, something else I got for Christmas that I'm leaving up here to try out. I believe that this is a collection of their six best-selling shadows or six of their popular shadows, Deep Dive, Drift, Birthday Girl, Birthday Cake, Stereo, and Seek when you get in here. I haven't used any of these yet. I did swatch a birthday cake and it is really gorgeous, but I'm really hoping to incorporate these into some looks soon because they are so pretty. 
all right you guys so that is going to complete my vanity tour as well as what is in my everyday makeup organizer i really hope that you guys enjoyed definitely give it a thumbs up if you did so it tells me that you guys like these types of videos also make sure you guys subscribe before you leave because i'd love to have you guys here as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course i'll see you in my next one bye guys